Hey everybody, welcome back to the Chaotic Little Book Corner. My name's Acacia. Today we're going to be doing the National Poetry Month tag. And this was created by Grace Libby. It was an original tag. I will link her channel down below. It was a wonderful idea and I'm super stoked to be able to do it. All right. Question number one, do you read poetry? I do. I read quite a bit of poetry. Um, I don't always have a poetry collection going, but I do like to find poets and poetry that I enjoy, if that makes sense. Question number two, who is your favorite poet? Um, I don't have one, honestly. Yeah, no. I can't say I have a favorite poet because... I don't really have any one person who I would go out and buy all their poetry as of yet. Um, so, like, I'm still looking for my favorite poet, I guess, is the right answer. What is your favorite book of poetry? So that would be between two of them. The first one is going to be down in the bottom of the bottom of the box, and that is by... Down in the bottom of the bottom of the box, and this is Porcupine Quilt Press, and you guys know how I feel about Porcupine Quilt Press. I love them. So this is my first favorite collection right now, and this is my other one, and this is Bring Down the Chandelier, and this is by Tara Hardy. Tara Hardy, I will definitely continue watching for. I can't say she's my favorite poet, but right now she's the person I, like, reach for the most. Is there a specific type of poetry style and such that I enjoy? And yes, those and these two actually kind of engulf those um, fairy tale elements, kind of twisted and dark, and then darker subjects such as sexual assault or um, mental illness. I find that blurbs of poetry, sometimes they're more effective than a full length novel. I can't explain why, but it's like just when you can take something so deep and dark and turn it into one line and make it something really, really palpable and hard hitting, it's a really beautiful thing and it's an art form and it's really impressive. Do you write poetry? I do. Um, I've written poetry since I was, oh, I don't know when I started. I don't really remember starting. I just remember writing poetry. I remember we had a poetry slam when I was in seventh grade and I read a poem aloud and I got in trouble for a poem that I wrote. So I've been writing poetry and pissing people off for a while with my poetry. Yeah. Will I be participating in the poetry in my pocket day on the 21st of April where you're supposed to print out a piece of paper with a poem on it and then keep it in your pocket all day and share it if you can. No, because I probably won't be in public so there will be no point to me having it in my pocket and I will be in sweatpants. The national uniform of crisis. Why do you think poetry is important? I think that poetry is important because it gives people an out. Um, it gives them a a format of 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 writing that is so much more easy to write. In my opinion, I found poetry much more easy to write than full on chunks um, of literature. Um, I found that poetry was a little more creative and I could really do what I wanted with it and I didn't have to follow as many rules. I mean, there's definitely rules and regulations set around poetry, but nobody follows them. They're made to be broken. And I think that that's a really interesting really interesting world is when you have this form and genre of writing that the rules are made to be broken. And that's something so separate to poetry from everything else. You're kind of in your own world and you get to make your own rules. And I really always loved that. And it was a really great way for me to journal as a child. And it still is. And it, it really helps a lot of experience. Ex it, it really helps me verbalize a lot of experiences in ways that I wouldn't normally. So it's, it's a very important thing for me. And I think that for anybody who is trying to learn to write, but doesn't know how to like follow the rules of the bigger stuff. It's a really great experience to just kind of play with poetry and not follow any rules because without the rules you just kind of end up making your creativity flow a little easier and that's really where I'm at with it. So I'm going to tag Pages and Pages and Amanda down below. I know Amanda reads poetry so she needs to do this and Pages and Pages I haven't heard you talk about poetry yet so I want to see it. Um, so we'll 
link both your channels down below and you guys are more than welcome to do this. Um, I missed question six was, which was, have I ever attended a poetry reading? Now, the answer to that is yes. I had a, I was blessed, very, very blessed. I had a, my mother sent me and my sister to a hippie school. I hated it so much, but I met Linda, who was my English teacher. We didn't call them by their last name, which was weird to me, but whatever. Um, Linda was my English teacher and my poetry teacher, and she was friends with Donald Hall when he was the poet laureate. And so I got to go meet the poet laureate and hear him read in his kitchen. And it was really beautiful. And he read Otherwise by his wife, um, who had passed away at the time. And it was it was a really moving experience and very different. I had never experienced sitting in the same room as an author before. Um, so it was something new and really beautiful. And it really was touching. And it made a huge difference for me to see it and hear it read aloud when it wasn't just my own work. So that would be my answer to that. I've never been to like a poetry, like a big actual poetry thing. I don't know if I ever would. Um, it's a scary idea, but um, it sounds like fun. I would love to hear some, some authors read their poetry. All right, guys, I will see you in my next video and tagging Amanda and Paige down below. Grace, great to tag. And I will see you in my next series. I will see you in my next video, guys. Bye.